In today's video, we're going to be flying the Drake Cutter. Now I'm going to tell you exactly why I cannot wait to upgrade to the Titan next. Before continuing, remember to hit that subscribe button. Okay, well I think now is as good of a time as ever to just check the insides and just tell you a little bit about what I've experienced on the inside of the ship. So, uh, my favorite part is definitely the cockpit. I find this pretty cool. It's very um, dark, you know, mysterious in a sense. Um, this part of it is pretty standard. You've got yourself a little locker here for inventory. Um, you've got your bed to sit down and lie down and log out, which I, to be honest, don't use that often. I know that this is a light that you can use. I'm not really sure how to turn it on though. Uh, this is your little, um, shitter. You got your shitter over here. There you go. Hidden underneath there, which you can bring out. Look at that. Boom. And you can sit there and sit on the throne of thought and come up with amazing ideas um, and then you've got your little sink which is nothing special let's close that get some privacy which is very nice and if you've got a cargo bay you've got yourself a cargo bay the cargo bay can only as you see one two three four so about four boxes that you can put in here and that's about it um, I haven't actually tried fitting any um, vehicles in here. I heard you can fit a vehicle in here. I haven't tried, um, but yes, there was no need to because the ship never gets to where I need it to go because it keeps getting blown up. Anyway, and then of course it's got its ramp. Now the ramp is pretty nice. I do quite like the ramp. The only thing I have an issue with it's because the ramp is so long, sometimes what happens is um, it does clip into the ground and your ship goes flying or you go flying, somebody goes flying and it all ends very spectacularly. Alright, so the best way to start testing this cutter out today is we're just basically going to do bounty and mercenary missions. I mean, we can't do salvage or mining with the ship because it's not a salvage ship. I suppose you can move stuff, but that's about it. So let's just take up some daily missions that would be easy to do straight off. Let's go with, hmm, there's not a whole lot of mercenary missions. Um, I'm not actually a big fan of these. Well, let's try it out, 20k. Now I'm sure we're all aware that the cutter is not exactly the ship you'd use for combat. I mean, it's quite slow on the turns. It doesn't have a great top speed compared to other ships. Not good thrust, but that's about it. And we've been spotted. Let's see how it fares in combat. Okay, it's a monitor, but I suppose we'll take that out. But for now, let's go off to something that's about to kill us first. Is that coming my way? I don't know. The standard cutter does come with Kimballed weapons, which is quite nice. see how we do okay we did do quite a little bit of damage to its shields but it is outpacing us there we go slow down let's go come on I know we can do this come on Put more power to the weapons. It's not moving anymore. Okay. Yeah, well, that thing wasn't going to shoot back at us. So let's find something that's going to shoot back at us. Come on, blow up. There we go. There we go. We've got one left. I'm not going to worry. Okay, it's coming my way, so I better worry about it. Get your shields out. Charge missiles and launch. Now the shields are gone. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Why is it missing? My shields are taking a beating. Putting power to shields. Alright. I'm not gonna lie. The monitored placement on the cutter is okay. It's not great. Um, but it does the job. 
One thing for certain though, these shields do not take a lot. My shields are already down. I swear my shields on the 85X was better than this. And then my shields are down again. Red. This is crazy, these shields on this thing are useless. I mean, you'd think being the ship that it is, it would have a little bit of more power towards its shields. Go oh, up! Uh, shield's critical. Don't have much time. Upload in 20 seconds. Did the time really drop that quickly? I suppose we're not going to make it now. I can't destroy the thing in 20 seconds. So let's just try and take the ships out of it. Mission failed probably, right? Yep. Thought so. So. Yeah, no chance because we can take the rays out if we go straight for them, but what? What? Was I just not focusing on the shields? What happened? First mission failed. So clearly the cut is definitely not meant for combat. That's a given. Shields are terrible. Now look, I would go and try out the shields, but the truth is... I don't see a point because I'm going to be replacing the cutter anyway. So let's... Let's just see what the standard cutter is capable of. Alright, so since we confirmed there's no way we're going to do any mercenary missions, let's try something a little bit of a different pace. Or maybe not. Let's try bounty, okay? Let's do the first one on the list. Look, it's not going to be play on player, hopefully. Because clearly that's not going to work. So let's have a look. And we're already getting fired at. Alright, so he's flying. Let's see how atmospheric battles happen in this ship. What are we going up against? That is definitely not a big ship, so uh, we should be able to take him. Let's see why not. No, we can do it. Okay, okay, we did it. Oh crap, that's not good flew into him there. Okay, so bounty, small bounty, baby bounty. That was easy, we did it. What's left of my ship? Let's have a look. Eh, the ship seems okay. I don't see a problem. Look at me just sitting in there. Am I on my gown? Oh no. Why is my helmet not on? Anyway. That's cool. Look at that beautiful ship, don't you think? Sort of got a charm to it. Not much of one, but I mean. Just look at that. You know, that is the one thing that the ship does have going for it. It has an insane quantum drive when it comes to fuel. This thing, I think it's got like 6,000, 6, I don't know what units, but 6,000 and that, that is a shitload of quantum field um much more than any other ship that i have come across i have heard that it may be a mistake the ship wasn't supposed to have so much fuel but that being said it does so if that's something that interests you then maybe the ship is for you but combat wise Nah, I cannot recommend the ship. Not for any medium or higher end combat. Like, weak ships against fighters and stuff? Yeah, sure. But I think, like, when you're going against a Cutlass or anything bigger than a Cutlass, I think you're going to be in for a hard time. But, I mean, the design of the ship is still quite beautiful, in a sense. I am not a huge fan of the body. 
But these thrusters on the outside, they do make it look quite unique. I would like it if they were a little bit more dynamic and that they turned as you were going down instead of just when you're landing. That would be nice, but I suppose it still looks great. Alright, we're almost there. Let's slow this baby down. I'll come down from the top as soon as she stops. Manually slow her down. Ooh. Okay, the torque on this thing is broken beyond. Okay, where are these things? Here they are. What are they flying? Gladius. Okay, Gladius not bad. We've already concluded that the Gladius is of no threat to us. got an Aurora and a Gladius. Now that's hardly going to be of any threat, I hope. Put our power towards the cannons. Which one is closer? There's a Avenger there. Okay, looks like extra ship to go through. Hopefully it's not an enemy. But we've been locked on to, so we're going to get a missile. Wait for it. Wait for it. Why don't we hit him with a missile? Why not? There we go, we hit him. How's the shield doing? What's on fire? Is that my ship tearing up? I hope. he's done for and I just flew into his debris again because that's what I do let's take his friend out wherever his friend may be I know for fact oh my word that thing is actually hitting me this torque imbalance is so intense There we go. Beautiful. So in the end, the Cutter was a decent ship to upgrade to from the Aurora. However, were it? No, definitely not. The Cutter, in its charm, in its glory, which is not that much. I would have to admit that combat wise this thing has been rather difficult to operate. Um, it packs a punch in a sense against small ships but anything larger no. No it doesn't. And its shields, its shields just can't handle a lot. It's not as fast as other ships, it's not as maneuverable as other ships. It's got only four slots for cargo so it's not really mind blowing on the cargo front nor can it cargo bay hold anything big to move around I suppose it can move around a small vehicle very small vehicle I'm not sure which one but for the most part it's not going to haul around it large so there isn't really any upside to the ship in my opinion other than it's slightly different design um, but even then beauty wise I don't think this thing actually blows my mind this is a drop ship. This is a cargo ship. A very small cargo ship. So really, the upgrade to a Titan is probably going to be the best option I could make right now. And in saying that, thank you for joining today's episode. Stay tuned for the next episode. And if you like this video, please remember to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. I will see you on the next video.